We've got a, a handful of questions from uh, some of our readers. This one comes from a young reader named Luke who wants to know, what do you miss most from Earth? Again, you're up there for a long time. Uh, it's the simple things I think that you miss most. And for me personally, I miss a shower, a nice warm shower in the morning. If we could get that going up here, wow, that would be something really, really super. But for now, uh, that's the number one thing. I did see, I did see on a TV show a couple days ago, a family sat down and had a big pizza with a soda and man I was at that point I was missing pizza a little bit more than the uh, than the shower but overall that's where we are we actually did get three pizza questions from readers so they were right on the money there um, from some of our, our photography fans who read time what cameras do you use and are there limitations on what cameras can be used in space can you just use an iPhone to take a picture up there well, you could take an iPhone, but uh, of course, uh, what we see out the window is so beautiful that we need something with a little bit more resolution. So we have uh, like professional uh, SLR cameras, all sorts of lenses. Sometimes, like if you want to take a picture of a typhoon or a hurricane, you need a wide-angle lens. So, uh, and then uh, if you want to take a picture of your hometown, you have this uh, huge 800 millimeter lens that you can actually see houses, individual houses, and it's pretty amazing what you can do. And also, it's amazing to see what the cosmic radiation does. Like uh, we really have to use up these cameras like they only last for half a year or a year and then the, the pixel damage through cosmic radiation is so big that we actually bring up new ones. And I imagine the view of the nighttime sky or it's always a nighttime sky of course is radically different with no atmospheric interference. That is true. The stars do not twinkle up here they just are pinpoints when there's so many of them it's so beautiful.